Welcome back to BBC Two. And tonight we welcome back an old favourite as Neil Oliver introduces a brand new series of Coast. Today I'm visiting an undiscovered estuary in Staffordshire. Get your coast, you've pulled. the estuary but first I had to draw to your attention danger keep out this was in the 70s apparently things have picked up a little since then we've stopped off for some refreshment because it's going to take us at least another 20 minutes solid walk to get to the estuary where I'm gonna meet a local historian called Dorian this at all. Even in a place as beautiful and idyllic as this, litter and dirt and crap has still found a way. I mean look, an empty Coca-Cola bottle, a Greg's pasty bag and this is the coup de grace. Some joker has even left a DVD here at this place. I don't believe that people can't just pick up the litter, take it with them and go and leave nature to flourish. Unbelievable. Amazing. It's absolutely stunning. In the words of Roger Daltrey from The Who, I can see for miles and miles and miles sea birds, cormorants, seagulls, shags an estuary for as far as the eye can see it's simply amazing natural plants flowers grasses very excited. Now just before we move on to meet the local historian, we've come across a wild hare. Have a look at this beautiful animal and you try telling me it's just a big rabbit. It's not. It's rare and it's a hare and it's there. A Victorian historian who's going to tell us everything we need to know about the estuary. So Dorian, what is it about the fishing ship, the Douglas, and the place itself that attracts people like you to find out what went on in times gone by. Well, we believe the boat, the SS Douglas, may have been here for some time. It's thought that the sea once flowed in land and the boat somehow found its way to the shores of the quarry. When this was full of water, it's thought that the fishermen sure. were drawn to it because they believed there was fish, fish that they could take back to their families and if they had a successful day, I'm sure they celebrated with a drink or two. That's 
strong drink, was it? Like, say, maybe scotch. I would imagine so. I could just imagine the, the successful team members of the Douglas after a, a, a good day's fishing, bringing back, say, mackerel in place, and the delighted uh, housewives running down to the dock, um, reaping the benefits of a, a brilliant day's fishing. Um, do you imagine they would have a bottle of scotch waiting for, for the men as they came back up the dock? Well, you know, possibly. That's the mystery of the SS Douglas, the fishing ship of the estuary of Eutoxeter, solved. And if it wasn't for Dorian and people like her, historians and Victorians, we would never ever have solved that mystery. Although, I won't want to bring to your attention a poem while I was in Dorian's company. She had the noose to pick up this poem from years ago, a song about seamen that would bring back fish. And it goes a little something like this, and everybody knows that Neil's got a little penchant for poetry. Men of the sea, brave and true, a day on the waves meant fishes for you. To set sail at dawn and cast the first line, to celebrate freedom with whiskey or wine. As the ocean recedes, our great sea is no more, replaced by an estuary of a witch buzzard soar. Seabirds now thrive where once there were ships, where men of the sea would slake their parched lips. A quarry is now formed and animals play. Hidden treasures abound off the Utoxeter way. The village is gone, overtaken by grass. The beer's not much cop, but this whiskey's class. <laughs> Oh, so from me, Neil Oliver, and Dora the Explorer, and the team at Coast, we hope that you've enjoyed this previously undiscovered territory. We're all off home now to get fucking wasted. I'll see the 